Hey guys, and welcome back to the Santa Spricks. My name is Jevin, and today I'm going to be talking to you about brittle brown Lego bricks. Now, if you've been building with Lego for a while, this situation will probably sound familiar to you. As you're trying to take a brown piece off of your Lego build, you suddenly hear a snap. And now you're left with broken fragments of a brown Lego brick. So why does it seem like these brown pieces break so much more often than other colors? First, I should probably mention that this doesn't only happen to bricks that are brown. Now, while some breakage will most often happen in bricks that are reddish brown, it also could be a common occurrence in bricks that are dark red, dark brown, and pearl gold. So why are these bricks so brittle and why do they break? Well, it probably has to do with their color. When Lego pieces are being made, a pigment or dye will be added to the ABS plastic in order to give the brick its color. However, that dye or pigment could offset the balance of chemicals inside of the brick. And this means that the final Lego brick could be more brittle, more fragile, and just overall not as strong. So it's likely that these four colors share a pigment or dye that makes the bricks more brittle. However, in 2017, LEGO realized this and changed the dyes of pigments that they use in brown bricks, and ever since then, those bricks have been much stronger. But what if you already have these bricks that are broken? Are they just garbage? Well, not necessarily. As it turns out, with just a little creativity, you can still use these broken bricks in your builds. And here are a few ways how you can do that. Now, the first way you can use your broken brown bricks in your builds is to use them in a minifigure display. So, as you can see, this scene uses two broken brown plates. And those plates make it look like this minifigure has just punched and broken a board. But, what if you don't necessarily have broken brown plates? Well, as you can see in this build, I have just used some of the tiny broken brown fragments. Now, as you can see in this scene, we have this minifigure chopping some wood. And all around the build, I have scattered these tiny fragments of broken brown bricks. So now that we've talked about how you can use your broken brown bricks in your minifigure displays, let's move on to the next building technique. And that next technique is using your broken brown bricks as part of your build. So as you can see, here I have a broken brown plate. And for this build, all else that you really need is a, another plate and a wedge piece. And so if I connect these together, we will get a little chocolate bar build. Now, if you wanted, you could just stop here, but I'm going to add some tiles onto this back part. And the only real reason why I added those tiles was to give the build a nice clean finish. So now let's move on to our third and final technique. Now, if you're like me and have so many broken brown bricks you just have no clue what to do with, well, then this build is for you. And that build is the oversized broken brick. So as you can see here, I've built a scaled up version of the 2x2 two two reddish brown plate. And if you want to see how you can build your very own oversized bricks, check out the video that's linked in the upper right hand corner. But now coming back to this build, as you can see, I have used many broken brown plates and tiles in this build in order to create the cracked appearance. However, if you don't have a lot of those broken pieces, you can still create the illusion by using these wedge plates. And not only is this build a great way to incorporate your broken brown bricks into a build, it also is just a great way to display them. Alright guys, and that is the story of brittle brown Lego bricks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to watch more videos like this one, consider checking out this video over here, and be sure to click this button right here to subscribe.